Actually, you know what? I'm going to drive up to Highway. Yeah. Oh. We'll go to Highway 3 because I know the service is better on Highway 3. We'll go down that way. We should be able to maintain service. Oh my god, it's so bouncy. You didn't take Dominion. Was going to take Dominion, but I, I know there's a black, there's a, there's a dead spot down there for cellular service. So I think Highway 3 is less of it because the, uh, the, the tower is on Highway 3. So we should maintain service. Wonder how much oh, how much snow we'll get the next little while. It's really starting to set in now. So when we get to Fort Area, we'll check out Waverly, we'll check out the Peace Bridge, uh, down by the kind of border service agent area where they got the road closed. Uh, that's usually a good spot for seeing the uh, the storm surge come up. The old fort. Where the waves come crashing over just by Waverly there. Yes, that's where I'm heading to, the Parkway and the Peace Bridge. All right. Just wet. Uh, the main roads aren't slushy or icy yet. Shame it's bouncing so much. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep my thumb on it, it won't bounce. I'm trying to stabilize the camera, I got my thumb underneath the bracket. So the vibration. There's a bit of snow on the road here. I don't know if Robert's still watching from earlier on who came out to see us at Crystal Beach. Wife working, take to go to the main destination of the street. You go, she knows, guys. <laughs> I'll have to read that one again just in a minute. It just disappeared off my screen. Uh. Uh, coming up on best ice cream, uh, best fresh restaurant. I've never is it green? Is it Green Acres? Is it down there? Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever. Had, maybe I have. I think my wife got me takeout from there years ago. I very rarely eat fish and chips when I'm in this country. Let me get fish and chips in England, really. Real cod. Oh, so far so good. We still got connection and we're halfway there. Mm -hmm. 
I guess I'm going out to dinner tonight. <laughs> I got to go back three thirty, four o'clock, get changed and head out. You can't really feel much in the dark anyway. Just the aftermath, which is different when we know we get those big storms. You're still about five minutes off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spray. Get away from my Toyota. The car in front is always a Toyota holding you up. Salters are out. Spraying it. A bit more organized snow. You deserve it. I like that place. You deserve it. That's nice. Didn't go there last year. Been there a few times before that. The ice cream place down in the plaza down here. Nice. A uh, little, little inexpensive side, but it's good ice cream. It's not your cheap, crappy Chapman stuff. But it's, it's nice dairy. Easy on the Toyotas. I have a thing about Toyotas. Please tell me you don't drive a Corolla. Uh, when I'm at work, I spend all day on the highway. If there's a car holding up traffic, it's always a Corolla. Always. <laughs> Followed by a RAV. <laughs> the higher end Toyotas don't seem to be the problem. It's always a Corolla for me. And they're not the worst drivers. I just call them the over safe drivers. <laughs> over cautious. <laughs> All right, a bit more snow on the ground here on the road in Fort Erie as we come in. Which from the prediction, from the uh, models someone was posting online, it was showing uh, Buffalo getting a lot of snow squalls, lake effect snow later on. And only literally part of Fort Erie, it looks like probably Crystal Beach might miss out on that. The worst of that. There's the uh, you deserve it ice cream place. You usually have a cow tied up outside. Did someone steal it once? A cow? Oh, yeah, the roads are definitely worse down here. Bill's game has been postponed. Yep. Uh, Rick was just telling me that. I just saw it online. Postponed till Monday. I know nothing about that kind of football, NFL. No, no, I think the cow was stolen once. I heard the cow got stolen a few years ago. And uh, hence, they got chained up, and I guess, yeah, like you said, they bring it in at night. Oh, please, I got lane block. What are you doing? Scooter falling over or something? Yeah, car in front of them? Oh, see a car. Oh, tree on the line. Okay, we have a tree on the line here just outside of Walmart. Uh, it hasn't snapped the lines yet. Uh, hydro is just pulling up now. Um, so if you lose power in Fort Erie, you know why. Um, it's just sitting on the wires. It hasn't pulled them down. So there you have it. Always gets me that bike racks. 
The highway traffic act says the license plate has to be clear at all times, but yet for some reason you have a bike rack. Doesn't do anything. No one does anything. <laughs> but the rule is, the law is, your license plate has to be clear at all times. But yet you put a bike rack on, no one can see it. No, I don't think they do. I think there's just way too many rules and laws for them to enforce. Because they just keep making new ones up. And all they'll do is, if you're involved in an accident, then they'll just throw everything at you. It's easier that way. Yeah, on demand. I don't know how that can be... That's got to be expensive for us as taxpayers, because they got a fleet of cars driving around picking one or two people at a time. I see them a lot in Niagara Falls and the Niagara Transit on demand, and they're everywhere. In fact, you want to get to Niagara on the lake, there's no bus service to Niagara on the lake, but I think you can get a Niagara Transit on demand to take you, which is a fraction of the price of a taxi or an Uber. Yeah. Right, if you just joined us, we're now in Fort Erie. Uh, the QEW is just to my left, by about half a kilometer. And uh, directly in front, you probably want to see it yet, but the uh, Peace Bridge is directly in front of us, and so is Buffalo. And we're going to make our way down to the waterfront, and uh, see so what we can see on the river. I believe they do have large portions of it closed off, so we'll see what we can get to. And at some point, I'm going to try and make my way over to Waverley. <laughs> I know I got ice stuck in the windshield. Mm -hmm. Gas 140.9. I got it for 130.9 in Niagara Falls on the Cloud Road yesterday. This is coming on well. Maple Lodge. Oh, Gilmore Lodge, I should say. Yeah, it's like huge. It's really come along. Yeah, prepare for the out, um, outages. Like I said, this is we drove past Walmart there. There was a, where the police car was, there's a tree on the power lines leaning against it. So, oh, I'm sliding. A bit of a slip there. Okay, it is icy down here. <laughs> I just felt the truck slip a little bit. Going past the Legion. I don't know where they would have got the road. Oh, they've closed off this. You can't even drive down there to park up. Oh, he's down. Okay. Oh, the cone's on the side. He might. Oh, they have blocked it off. Oh, that sucks. All right, I have to do a UE somewhere. So they've got the road closed off. They don't need to close it there. So what I'll do, I'll drive over to uh, um, Canada Border Services. And we'll have a little look from there. Any point when you're in 4x4, you can't turn the vehicle very well. <sighs> there we go. So Central and Garrison closed. Let's get to the partway. Parts of the boulevard are closed, yes, uh, from here. I think it's probably closed from just down this road here where I'm trying to get to. Uh, Peace Bridge is quiet. So we'll go down here. This should take us right down to the river. And there's usually a parking lot right at the end of the road here I usually go to. That's it, Queen Street. I don't know. I just know where I'm going. I don't know the names of the streets down here. Round about.
Now, when the surge comes up high, usually the water will come over the road up here. And I know they've been trying to slowly rebuild that wall. They haven't been doing a very good job. There's a few cars parked here. Oh, there's a Oh, wow, that river's moving fast. Look at it. Holy, wait, do you see this? That is flowing. Uh, I see you'll be having a problem on that. <laughs> so the road's closed from here. We can just get over here. The water has breached the wall. So I can get out and show you around in a second. I'll just park. I'll get my gloves on. I'll show you around. The one pop walking right down there. Right, just give me a second and I'll get my gloves and my hat and I'll take you for a walk. Uh, where did I put my other tripod? A white one. Ow, 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 ow. No, it's not that one. I have a white one with me. I don't know where I put it. It's probably just falling into my bag. Goggles. I'm so disorganized. No? Oh, you know, I'll use this one, which is on the wind meter. I'll attach it to this. <sighs> All right, just gonna take you off here a minute. Oh, give me a minute. <sighs> All right, I'm going to show you down here in a sec. Okay, now I'm on. All right, that's on that. Put my hat on. Gloves. Make sure I don't get locked up this time. One white glove. Oh, I got the other girl prop there. I think he was down there. What the hell did I just... Oh my god, Rick, I'm going fucking nuts here. I just lost another glove. <laughs> I, I just seen it. <laughs> ah! There it is, behind my camera bag. Alright, must be the bad way. Uh... Okay. Let's have a walk over to the wall. Oh, the microphone just fell on the floor. Yeah, yourself? Back. I can imagine. <laughs> All right, so here we are. The Niagara River, a place I come frequently on my sea do, but today is not one of those days, and it won't be for another three months. So the water is just starting to breach the wall, the waves are crashing over. Now, when we get that full surge, which we got another five to go, probably, the water will probably come higher than the wall. And all this will be underwater very shortly. Um, look at the blow of snow coming towards us. Let's try and get a bit closer to the, uh, uh, the where the water's breaching, just over here in the wall. Right, there's no wall here, so you can see the water's trying to come up and encroach onto the grounds. Mm. 
Now we just stop here for a second and we'll just enlarge it and just see how fast that river is going. Here comes a big gust of wind. Actually, we're quite sheltered from the wind down here, which is quite nice. So this is Fort Erie at the Peace Bridge and on the other side of that bridge is uh, the city of Buffalo. What we're going to do is try and make our way over to the other end where the fort is very shortly. Uh, trying our way around, take the back road up there and try and get into uh, that point and really check it out. But the, uh, the water is crashing over the wall right here. I can see it further. So every time the water crashes over, it just adds more and more water to the, uh, the, the, uh, the grass embankment here. I don't know if I can walk. Or as they say, rubbers. Uh, there we go. You can just see Woo! Okay. When I said we're sheltered from the wind, I think I was lying. It's pretty bad here right now. Just really shame we can't get any closer. Well, we've got another big gust of wind. All right, we're going to try and do now is make our way to uh, the top end there. As you can see, the water just come over the wall every now and then, just along here. There we go. So, in another hour or so, this will be a lot worse, trust me. All right, walk out here without falling over. Hey, how are you doing? Doing good. So you're wondering where we are. This is the kind of border services place. Peace Bridge right here, going right over to Buffalo. Uh, this couple here having a little walk, checking it out. Um, you know what? I'll take you up here quickly. Rick's in the car, he's keeping warm. I'll walk up here where the geese are, where the water's crashing right over the wall. We'll have a little look at that. Now, when I came down here and did the storm on Halloween a few years ago, this was all underwater right here. Um, and it could well be the same in a few more hours. I get in the way of the geese. Just walk over to here. Get a closer look at the bridge. Uh -huh. Uh 
Hey guys. Well, you go that way. I'll go this way. Oh, you go that way. <laughs> All right, I'm looking up here. There's a lot of water coming over the wall ahead of us up here. Wow, you really get a sense of how fast this water's flowing when you get closer to the bridge here. If I just quickly stop, oh no, he tripped over there. And you can just see that flow of water, the speed it's going at, probably like 25 kilometers an hour. All right, just move up a little bit further. Okay, the water is being pushed. Well, it's coming over the wall from over there. The wind is pushing it down here. It's like a torrent of water coming towards me right now. Oh, okay, that's not good. See, look at this. So the water's coming over the break wall over here. The wind's now funneling it. Look at this. And it tries to go down there, but the water's coming back up from there as well. So it's got really nowhere to go. Whoa, that's deep there. A little too deep for my liking. Okay, back up, back up, back up. Try over here. Ah. <sighs> So this is the part way which is being closed. See the snow just blowing right across. Wow, those waves are dancing over here. God, I'm going on a bit of a hike here. Can you see those waves? I can't really get any closer. It's just it's too crappy. Can't see a gap to get across. Hang on. I can get a little bit over here, I guess. A bit of land there I can stand on. All right, look at that. Well, I'm right in it now. <laughs> a gust of wind coming again now. Right, sinking in the mud. So I can just get to this corner a bit and I'll turn back. Holy shit, that's cold. You just joined us. Hi, welcome. I'm Nigel, Lake Erie vlogger. 
down here at Fort Erie by the Peace Bridge right now. Uh, the winds aren't as strong here as the Art Crystal Beach, but they're still strong, but not as strong. The waves in the river are huge in places. I'm just trying to get over to here so I can get a better look without putting myself into too much danger. Jesus! <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> okay, I'm walking sideways now. <laughs> Ooh. All right, there's no way of getting across to that wall. That looks too deep. Jesus, that wind. Holy moly. As you can tell, that's bad. I don't know how deep this goes. Oh, oh we're going across. We're through. All right. The things I do for the money shot. All right, we're by the wall. Here goes, folks. Look at the speed of this. Wow, just incredible wow is the word I can come up with. I should have brought the GoPro down for this walk because I don't want to come back again. <laughs> but that is your Niagara River running so fast with massive seven, eight foot swells in that. Look at that one. Shit, I'm standing back. It's going to get me. Whoa. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is phenomenal footage. Oh, somehow I've got to try and get back across again. All the way up there. I, I can't turn my back on these waves in case one comes right over me. Look at that. Holy moly. Whoa. Hey, folks, hope you're enjoying this footage as much as I am out here. Oh, no, yes. Whoa! <laughs> oh! Oh, 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 oh! That was fucking. That was close. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Wow! Let me just try that lens off. Oh, I got ice on it. Oh. All right, we're still here. We're still here. Big, big waves out there. Big waves. Buffalo's just there. Oh, my finger looks crooked. <laughs> okay, some more big waves come in. I gotta try and make my way back across in a minute. Okay, so walk back down. I gotta remember where I crossed over because I'm literally cut off. <sighs> Whoa, like that. So I'm not gonna stand there. We know that for a fact. Nigel, don't stand there. So good afternoon, folks, from Fort Erie, the Peace Bridge. A very, very violent and angry Niagara River is flowing really fast right now uh, down the, towards Niagara Falls. Um, I've never been this close to the river when it's this stormy. Usually I can't get this close, but I've got the full waterproofs on. I uh, got the rubber high waders on. As uh, long as I don't go anywhere near that wall, I feel quite safe. Uh, but when I'm near that wall, I have a fear of going over it. So I'm going to stay this side. So if I fall over, I'm literally just going to fall over into the freaking puddle. And that is it. So, uh, yeah. Unbelievable. Let's swing you around again so you can see how bad it is. Just clean that lens. The winds are just whipped it up again. Now, a good place to stand is pretty right here. <laughs> wow! Yeah. 
there's some big waves coming my way now. Oh, yo! <laughs> All right, got to make my way across before it floods even more and I can't get back. I think I came from this path, but I've also seen a lot more water here than there was uh, three or four minutes ago. I just got to wash my foot in as I try and cross here. It doesn't help with the wind blowing me at the same time. Right, I'm through. That was insane. Oh, the wind's blowing. Shit! <laughs> wow, that really grabbed hold of me. All right. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I'm really angry with myself. I didn't bring my GoPro to that bit there. That would have been phenomenal footage. Be back and steal it from this live stream. That was insane. All right. Stay away from the wall this time, walking back closer to the road. You can see the snow being whipped right now in those gale force winds that are coming off Lake Erie and blowing so badly. It's so dangerous down here. Now, I've been following storms for most of my life, but only really been out documenting them for the last five years or so. But as a kid, or a teenager, I was down by the ocean where I grew up, following all the storms in where I used to live in Cornwall in England, every time those winter gales came through. And that fascination has stuck with me for my whole life. And I just absolutely love it. There's a thrill to it, there really is. But you've got to be careful of your surroundings at all time. When you're near open water, especially waves, you can't turn your back on it. It's a bit like being out on the sea, dude. You just can't turn. Uh, you got. You can't switch off when he's waved out there. You can on a calm day, but when he's a uh, chop, you just never know when that bad wave might come and just send you into the uh, into the sink, uh, into the uh, water there. Oh, I'm parked all the way down here. So what we're going to do now? So what we're going to do now is get back in the vehicle and we're going to drive around the back end of Fort Erie here because the road's closed and uh, make our way over to Waverley and uh, see what's happening there because I know usually when you get the storm surge it'll push up against that wall, sends a lot of debris onto the road but when we get to Waverley itself where the park used to be you can usually get to see a lot of wave action there as well so that's what I'm going to do uh, it'll take us like probably five minutes to get there once I get to the truck. <sighs> now, like I said, when I came down here for Halloween uh, 2019, 18, when I, when I documented the storm, this road was all underwater here. And this piece of grass I'm walking on was also all underwater. So the lake levels have been a lot lower the last few years. They're not at their normal lowest yet. They're still above normal. For most of you, you might think they're actually low, but they're not. Uh, they're still above uh, normal levels. But if they were high like they were five or six years ago, this would be a different situation right now of all the water uh, coming up. All right, let's turn you back around, see. Oh, I turned the, tr I turned the truck off on Rick. It's probably frozen, poor guy. <sighs> that was good. I, I really wish I had my camera out there for that other one. That was like great footage. I'm gutted. Oh well. Next time I'm not doing a live stream. I'm just taking my cameras with me. Yeah. <sighs> Old school. I'll show you where we are on the map. For those people who are not from around here, 
it just so happens there's a map right in front of me here so I can tell you where we are so Port Coburn Crystal Beach is where we just came from and we, then we took Highway 3 all the way into Fort Erie and we're just here by the river walk and what we're going to do is make our way to this bit Waverley Beach on this corner holy my microphone's not picking that wind up I don't think it's got a really good cancellation on it I noticed when I made a video earlier and played it back I didn't hear much all right back in the truck and I'll put you in the cradle gee that was wicked out there I was way up there at the point and it was just crashing over the water. I've actually walked right into it all. I up to my like my shins. <laughs> and now we're all fogged up. Right, I'll clear up in a minute. Yeah. Oh, bracket. I was upside down and do that. All right. You might get dizzy while I just move you all around and wipe the ice off my phone. Yeah, it's wild up there. Alright, I should have where I want to go that way. Thanks, Justin. No winding you might. You know what? It's a shame that it, it, it's good, but it's also. I don't know, my, <laughs> I'm talking to you all, so my microphone's still on me. It's not. All right, yeah, it's a shame that because the wind. <laughs> this wind, this microphone actually cancels all the wind out, which is. You don't get to hear that howl, um, which is good in a way, but also bad because it takes mm. away the effect. Let's <sighs> wait for defrost, then we're going to head out. Try and get it to wave there and head back. Amazing footage, just standing on the peak around the corner where the waves are crashing right over. I'm wading right through the water. I wish I'd took the other camera with me though. All right. There we go. No one behind me now. <laughs> All right. Oh, why can't just like that perfect? Oh, guys flying down, buddy. The road's closed. Why are you going so fast? Skid? You gonna skid? You gonna skid? Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Next time we have a massive storm, I'm not live streaming, but I'm going to sit there and video that area. That was awesome. Just uh, oh, good thing is these boots are so warm. They got from Canadian Tire. These water woods, um, uh, go 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 tech boots, whatever they are, They're freaking awesome. This is usually what I wear on my sea do in the fall <laughs> and the spring when I first go riding. <sighs> right. We'll try and make our way over to the other side now. Let my phone defrost. That's annoying. I'm getting PTSD flashbacks from the freaking blizzard with that alarm going off.
was watching the live feed there. <laughs> she might have heard the whole conversation. I'll go that way, don't I? No, it's the next one. That I don't think you can get through that one. All right, just trying to figure her out. Is this one I go down? Yeah. Wow, winds are picking up. A bit bouncy, the road's uh, shitty. <laughs> right, trying to head down to the river, the other side of where they got it blocked off. Then go towards the fort. Go and get changed after that. Head out. Now, sometimes they close it down here as well and you have to move it further, but we'll have a look. We go. Wow, it's wild down here as well. Oh, <laughs> that's weird. Well, I'm going to go around it to go right. That's just silly, isn't it? You've got to go that way. You can't go left, and it's higher ground up that way, surely. That did not make sense. Wow. Wild here. Rivers flooded. The guy walking down there. <laughs> He's in camouflage. I know you didn't see him. <sighs> He's in camouflage, but I can see him. Huge waves out there. So that tree is there. Look at that. Jeez. That wall's getting a good pounding over there. All right, we'll head up to the other bit. Don't turn the right clothes up here as well. Can't see why. Oh, no, we're going to get down there. Okay, we're good. If not, we're just going to go around the roundabout a few times. So the road's closed from here, but you can get down to the old fort, which is good, and up to Waverley. I think if I save this video, I think I can edit it. If it is, cut bits out. I can shorten it for what I'm after.
Uh, usually along here, there's usually a lot of debris along, but the water's not that high as it was at the last storm yet. Oh, well, level's not that high here. getting battered out there. Yeah, in past storms, usually right here, the water comes crashing right over onto the road, onto these properties, and it's usually just full of gravel, rocks, and stones here. It's got a long way to go to get to that point. That's just point down his end. I thought it'd be a lot worse than what it was, but it's not. It was worse further down than also back up where we were. Crash is pretty good there, though. Uh, uh, supposed to peak at four, so there's still time. Yeah, there's still time. Now, hopefully, my phone signal won't die and it'll switch right over to uh, the US. Quite often, it has a problem around here. Really hearing that wind, right? Like really picked up again. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't seen anything down though. That's an amazing thing. After all being weakened in the previous storm, but mind me, mind you, what was weak probably has. He's <laughs> guys trying to walk. Now, I think the water will just keep pushing up. Uh, these winds are meant to stay strong for probably another 12 hours. Uh, gusting 80, 90 most of the night. So uh, it'll still keep rising. Not that one. Could have been that one. This is all changed, it all looks different to me now. Uh, uh, yes, I was going to say lots of weak trees, but yeah. Uh, they've been here. Wow, we really cleared this out. Holy cow. This is all forest not so long ago. So sad. So sad. More history just torn down.
adalah Waverly. Oh. Hi from St. Catharines. More housing, yep. Yeah. All right, there isn't that much to see down here, so we're going to try and make our way back to the palm wood. It was all happening there, really. And not much here. Probably the best place to go. <sighs> Where's that rock? Right, we're going to head back to Crystal Beach. That's uh, where all the best action seems to be. A lot more going on than here. But we came, we checked it out. You still on mental? Yeah. Nah, I get that. Right, so you can keep the signal going up Dominion. Head on for three thirty to get changed and head out. Yes, trying Dominion, so hopefully the signal will stay on. It should stay on. Sometimes it's just that when I'm driving along here or I'm with my wife and I'll try and use my phone because I'm in the passenger seat, I have no service. The patch of water on Dominion. Oh, you know where's a good place to go? From the Bay Road. That usually floods at the creek. I just take my dog down there a lot for a walk, so we'll head down there. There's a lot of flashing lights ahead, so maybe uh, power lines down. The orange lights, so it's probably a hydro. But if we keep the signal, I'll drive down uh, Thunder Bay Road and uh, have a look down there. See how high the creek is. That's what you meant. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes that floods really well down there. Oh, yeah, I'll have one. You having one? May as well. We've got 10 minutes to kill. <laughs> Cheers, Rick. Yeah. 
I quit smoking lasted nearly two weeks. I'll try again after I've been on vacation. I don't see anything down, do you? We can squeeze by. Maybe somebody in the back, I don't know. Didn't see anything. I have no idea what happened to it. Da Vinci's Pizza. Never been. I just want to take this opportunity to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, normally, I'm out making the video, but today I just feel like doing a live stream. It's easy, it's less work, really. But I do have some footage I'll put on YouTube later on. I won't make a video out of it, I'm just going to put the footage of the video I made out on top of that rock area, the Palmwood, where the waves are crashing over. I'll stick that on YouTube later on. Clothes, no money. I have a good live stream. Good. Snow is really uh, coming again now. Skies look not as broken now, probably more consistent. Actually, next one. That's windmill on the next one. Oh, actually, it might have been that one I wanted. Yeah, it was, because there's the creek. Trillia, go down Centrillia. It's Centrillia, it ends on. Stop by for a pint. Where? You're in my neck of the woods. <laughs> I'd love to, but i got to go out. After this, i got to go to St. Catharines in Niagara Falls. Oh, I know why. I'm just where I walk the dog to sometimes. Trail. Oh, you're welcome. Every now and then I just see the messages pop up as I'm driving, so I do see a few of them. They stay on my screen for like five seconds and they disappear.
It's a big generator. Oh no, it's a big compressor. Yeah, when the water gets high, this usually floods along here as well. The creek's just probably about half a kilometre to our left. It's just starting to rise, actually, all the water here in the ditches. Well, they then closed the road because I just seen a car go down there, so it couldn't have flooded yet. No, nope, it hasn't flooded. The road's completely clear. But that truck is right now, it's usually white floods right along here. Is it getting close? Oh, it's getting close though. It's uh, a couple of feet away. The parking lot's flooded, so it is starting to flood. I guess I won't be walking down there anytime soon. All right. Time for the palm wood. Yeah, the waves crashing over there. Wind and everything. Snow's coming down good now. <laughs> if it gets any worse, maybe I won't be going to St. Catherine's. Gee. Yes, it's uh, it's from the creek and it just floods right up. Um, also, the uh, the water from the uh, the leak is pushing the water in the creek back up the creek, basically. So it just swells and it comes back onto the road. Uh, later on tonight, it's probably going to be completely flooded. Um, well, you can't see much down here. Sometimes the storm surge comes right up here as well on a really rough one. But so far, so good. There's nothing much to see there. Rough though. Now walk us out off to your right. My right now or the right I just had? <laughs> you got the big posh house on the right now. Right, this is my neck of the woods. I just live up the road. You're left now. Okay, the one where the dogs are always at. Okay, I know which one you mean. Used to be woods here on the left hand side, chopped them all down like 18 months ago. 
big subdivision going to go in there eventually. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm on Hyman. I wonder if Crystal Beach is taking the brunt of the storm. Yeah, I'm heading to Crystal Beach now, so we'll have a look. That's where we're going to, to finish off the video. Of course, I'll come down here in the morning, so what mess there is. You're on prospect. Okay. Ah, now I know where you are. I am right on three lost power a few hours back on now. How far down on three were you? Because we saw the tree on the power line, but that was down by Walmart uh, in Fort Erie. We didn't see anything when we earlier on driving down from uh, Ridgeway on Highway 3 until we got to that. Oh, Rick's got the lurgy. I'm going to die again. Oh, yeah, a while back. I don't know where I was. I came back and I never knew it happened. And that's my sign for turning to Tim Hortons, <laughs> is that blue house. And I was like, hey, it melted. What happened? <laughs> Between Burley and Bernard, I go, big orange van. Big orange van. Orange... You'll have to look for that. Yeah, that's where I am, right between the two roads. This is where that dead spot was on the internet, right here. It doesn't come up, which is good. Yeah, it's icy here. It's, yeah, it definitely is. Is that um, Bryce, I wonder? Could be. No, no, no. Yay! <laughs> it is Bryce. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> oh, wonderful. Yeah, we saw uh, a tree on the power line by Walmart, Hydro, and uh, our uh, Niagara Region are down there. Um, otherwise, it's not that bad. What happened to road? What happened to road is gone again. I, we were down there, uh, as it started to wash the road away. Like it was a complete road, and as we were there, the waves come in and bits were getting washed. And as I was doing a, a video to put on the Facebook, I think it was, I turned around and he just goes, he just took a whole chunk out <laughs> while I was there. Oh, lovely. All right, I'll catch you later, Bryce. Shout out to uh, bylaw officer there, Bryce. Good chap. Well, I guess they're opening up. Maybe the water's not coming as high as it originally anticipated here. But it's still early. I mean, these winds are going to be. Uh, I think the way I was tired watching it up for you. Dead, oh, it's a dead spot. So I did hit a dead spot. All right, I thought I would have done. Oh, I'm sliding on the ice. Wow, 
listen to it. They're still surfing. So it's really icy down here, of course, because there'd be no uh, salt put down here. Yeah, lots of sand. Get some buckets and start spreading it around the place. That's why I didn't want to come down that hill. He's just slid right down. He just managed to stop. <laughs> Quickly look at those houses and the waves. The hillbilly car wash. Wow. Just get you a look at that. Just zoom in a little bit. There you go, folks. Yeah, it's gone higher, yeah. Oh, the, the, our float's come back again. It's over there. Look at the spray over there. That's like insane. I got a video of this bit. This camera. Oh, got a splash in there. Ow, it's got hit on the head. What was that? A leaf. those people live in those buildings home uh, most of them are empty the ones in the waterfront are empty uh, most of them are summer homes for the Americans I guess uh, there's a lot of people live on the homes behind it yeah those waves are and so you can see how how it all froze back uh, last winter with the uh, sudden freeze and the temperature dropping it's not that bad so it shouldn't really freeze over like we saw last time A lot of ice has formed on the uh, stuff in front of us. Oh, Mark's down here, Weather Network. So the Weather Network's down here, Mark Robinson. Yeah, it looks like a new car. It's part of that angle. Way, look at those waves, man. A good shot of that, the water coming right over the wall here. Look at that, insane. I stood up there an hour ago, <laughs> idiot. I would take you out, but uh, it'll get very, very wet if I took you out there. I don't know if he's picking up on the camera, but the vehicle is just rocking here from side to side with the wind. Wow. 
big one. There you have uh, the Range Rover just pulling by us there. Off it goes, followed by a Tesla coming from the other side. A little slip on the wheels there if you tried to stop. Oh, yeah, the water's definitely. Okay, so when we were here earlier, before we went to Fort Erie, I'll just show you. So I can see it. There's one behind me. I don't know if you're going to see it, but these arrows on the ground here, and the water was just coming up to the arrows. And now every wave that comes is going past those arrows, which are just there. Yeah, well, look at the, the means at two and a half. See it? Wow. They're huge, aren't they? Look at this one coming in now. It's going to crash right over in a second. Yep. Nicely spread out as well now. Big gaps in the waves. And the spray is going literally, what, 50 feet across when it hits. Like that. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can just stand out quickly without blowing away. I'm afraid of losing my door if I open it, that's the problem. All right, I'm up quite a bit. Keep the camera still in the wind. Bone chilling will be cold. Yeah, we're going to drive down see where Mark is. He just went down there a bit further. Look at the houses. Oh. Put you back in the cradle. There you go. Hear the ice. <laughs> right, Mark's down there. We'll see, see if I can get him to open his window and say hello. <laughs> Oh, it disappeared. He was there. <laughs> He's just gone again. He was right in the corner. Wait on to find somewhere else to see you get a good shot. Yeah, maybe. Let's quickly pull it in a minute. Get a view of the water from this angle. That's a tilt. There you go.
big waves. Drive over there then. About two hours to probably call it a day. Whoops, put the microphone back on. Alright. There's cars everywhere. Well, this part being down here, there's so many cars driving around and you can't see them. Okay, move. Another one. Um, she was told to come in. They forced overtime due to storm. Well, good money. <laughs> well, yep, sucks if you wanted a day off. Yes, that's why I never answered my phone. Oh, there goes weather network is disappearing. A quick look here. Yeah, down there. Mm. Usually by now, this part's covered in rocks along here. It hasn't come up yet. I bet you tonight that surge will keep coming with the wind being like this for a few hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This will only get worse tonight. All right. Uh, I'll be going home shortly, checking with Danny, see if our plans are still on for tonight. Are we going to cancel? See how it goes. And if we cancel, I'll be back down here later. If not, <laughs> Rick gets blown out the truck. It seems to be homeward. I like the look of it. Shame no one lives in it yet. Nothing's open. Nothing's being done. I mean, if I had the money, I'd live in that. I want the top suite. Oh my god, the roof's flapping like crazy. Oh yeah, the trim. Yeah, the trim on the top of the roof right now. I know if I can get a better shot of that. <laughs> If the wind gets underneath that, that's going. There's a trim right there. I'm going to get a shot of that. Uh, uh, yeah. Do it this way. The trim just there is flapping. And I'm wondering whether the wind could get underneath that and rip that in the end. Because it's part of the roofing. So that'll be interesting to see. I'd love to have a waterfront property until it floods. That's small. Water is slowly creeping up. Yeah, it's splashing up there. I was standing there earlier on. Right there. It looks like it's starting to come up. All right, just one last little drive up to the uh, main area where everyone is. Oh, they closed the uh, the boat ramp down. They just closed it now. Yeah, the um, the emergency services are here. Looks like they're clearing everyone out. Yep, they've cleared everyone out. <laughs> 
with a fire truck. Oh, it's probably the same fire truck as at Point Abbey now. He's come down here now, moved everyone on. Fun yeah, the fun wrecker. Yeah, they've kicked everyone out. There you go, right there. So don't bother coming down here in your vehicle right now. They've uh, they've closed the uh, boat ramp completely off. You can't access it now. They're clearing people out as we talk. He's probably going to come down here and clear us out. <laughs> you can't. He's only got one car. Yeah, true. So, if you want to see a storm, this is the only place you can come right now. He's here. Yeah, the last of the cars have just come out of the parking lot now. Mind you, he's got to get them out of there. He, he can't really. He's just going to stop people from going in, basically. There's a good spot right here for a minute. You'll see all the waves crash on this house in a minute. The water just receded slightly as it all sucks back out and it's going to come straight back in again. Uh, here come the waves again, so you'll see some big waves hitting that wall in the next few seconds. Way out there, it's some big waves. There. All right, folks, we're going to, am I going to end it now? Yeah, I can't really show you much more because I closed the bloody road off there, so you can't get up to the palm wood. Uh, it seems to be closing a lot of things off. Oh, you're welcome. Um, I think the winds have just gotten worse. Yeah, they seem to have picked up again. It's going to be like this for the next few hours, on and off, on and off, really intensifying and roll back a little bit. But for right now, I've got to... Oh, God, there's more people coming on, so maybe I'll keep the stream going just a little bit longer. There's a lot of people just showed up. Just drive out to where that fire truck was. Look at the beach bit there. Yeah, the winds are really... Oh, wow. See that going right over there? That's a huge wave. Yeah, some big waves coming in again. Yeah, I know he closed it off, but I'm going to turn around down there. So just so you can see, uh, someone coming down now will not be able to access this and get in there. Mind you, because he's on his own, he can't get people to get out. So if you're in there, stay there.
two more minutes, I'll do it. Turn around here. Everyone's sliding down the fucking hill. Turn around. Fuck you, asshole. We're all sliding down. All these volunteer people really get on a power trip. I am back. It's pretty bad here. You were in Fort Erie a bit ago. We just came back from here. The power's out at the hospital. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it, folks. There's not much else to show you, so we're going to kill the live stream right here. i got things to do. Uh, I might be back out later, depending on what my plans are, do they get cancelled or not. But as of right now, um, that is really it. They're closed stuff down, so we can't even get to see things. So, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope I'll get it uh, up again shortly. Maybe tomorrow I might run out, see how things are, do some damage report. And like I said, i got a couple of videos I'm going to put on YouTube later on. Uh, just short ones, like two or three minute long ones you can check out of uh, how bad things were. All right. So, uh, stay safe, everyone. And uh, we'll speak to you soon. Yeah.